Good morning. Today is Wednesday, April 21st. For lunch today, there's mini corn dogs with tater tots, or chef salad with whole grain dinner roll, or cheese pizza. Today marks the final day of our severe weather drills for the year. When it's your class's turn, please visit your assigned area. Today's drills are Ms. Laner's advisory, Ms. Begg's advisory, Mr. Kirchmeyer's advisory, and CWSA. Today in grades four through five, it's a C day. In grades six through eight, it's a B day. With the weather turning nicer, some people are starting to hit some baseballs around outside during recess. If you're gonna do that, we're asking for safety's sake that you please hit all baseballs one direction, north to south away from the building. If people are hitting baseballs multiple directions, that's not quite as safe. Thanks for your help. Today during gym recess, Ms. Brooks and Ms. Laner's classes had the Boys and Girls Club option. And we're wishing a happy birthday to Rebecca and Vanessa Rodriguez in the seventh grade. Have a great day. Hey everybody. So today I'd like to share with you some thoughts I had when I came across the following blog post from Martin Fejo. Mr. Fejo writes, When I was a child, I was told that cloud shapes were created by expert balloon twister clowns who live in the sky so that they can keep entertaining children. On my last trip to Mexico, I remembered this and started to photograph clouds on the road. The result is shaping clouds, a series of illustrations where I drew the first thing that came into my mind when I saw these clouds that I imagined someone made for me. So even though we know there aren't giant chickens in the sky or huge T-Rexes looming over hillsides, the truth is we are able to see them because we're able to find what we're looking for. This isn't just true for clouds. This is really true as we're working with other people too. Even though someone may say or do something, how well we interpret what that meant really has to do more with what we are drawing on top of their cloud instead of what necessarily is going on inside their head. So, for example, if you're angry at somebody and they bump into you in the hallway, you're probably going to draw the picture of anger and mean on top of that when they might just have, in their head, say, I wasn't really paying attention. Just like with clouds, we can find what we're looking for. So today's challenge is that if you see someone do something that you're not sure how they meant it, and then if you could take it either good or bad, take it for the good side. Give them the benefit of the doubt. This is called presuming positive intent. That means that you think that they're doing the best they can in whatever situation they're at, and then if you look hard enough for what they might have meant that's good with that, it's a lot easier to see those pictures and their actions than other ones you might sketch on top of those. So it's not easy giving someone the benefit of the doubt, but it's the kind thing to do, and that's your challenge. All right, have a good one.